Missing fraudster Melissa Caddick purportedly told a friend where she would end it, an inquest into her disappearance has heard. A two-week inquest examining the events leading up to Caddick's 2020 disappearance commenced in Sydney on Monday. Watch the video above, Anthony Coletti drops Melissa Caddick bombshell. Watch the latest news on Channel 7 or stream for free on 7 Plus how her foot became detached from her body, and multiple declarations to friends and family will be among the evidence heard at the inquiry. In his opening address, Jason Downing SC said Caddick was suspected to be dead. But evidence will cast doubt on how exactly she died. A forensic pathologist will explain that it is unclear how her foot became detached from her body. With the right medical assistance, an amputation is not necessarily lethal, Downing said. However, he added it was suspected that Caddick was already dead when it became detached. The inquest heard on Monday of Caddick's marriage to Tony Caddick which, in late 2012, fell apart. She purportedly told her brother Adam around this time, if it all gets too much for me, you'll find me at the Gap. The Gap is an ocean cliff in Sydney's east. Though it's a popular visitor destination, it has also become infamous for suicides. Another friend said Caddick made her write down a four-letter code she was instructed to give Adam if she went missing. Caddick vanished in November 2020. Around this time, friends said, Caddick was under extreme financial pressure and, on one occasion, walked to the Dover Heights cliff. If I'm going to end it, it's going to be here, her friend recalled Caddick telling her. Criminologist Dr. Xanthi Mallet previously told 7news.com.au there was doubt behind the theory that Caddick had taken her own life. One of the top theories is that she suicided and my concern with that is, from what we know of Caddick's personality, that just seems to really counter what you would expect of her, Mallet said. She was a highly intelligent woman. Obviously, she would have known what she was doing was illegal. She would have known that there were risks and she would have had mitigation plans in place if it all went wrong. I think it's more likely there was human intervention, but that's, as I said, just from what's been released publicly. Obviously, we're not inside the investigation. Caddick, 49, vanished on the morning of November 12, 2020. The only sign of her since has been a decomposing foot, washed up in her shoe almost 400 kilometers from where she was last seen in Dover Heights. Caddick's husband Anthony Coletti supports the theory that his wife met a nefarious end. She was so happy, he earlier told Seven's Spotlight program. She loved, her son, and I don't believe that's what she did. He said his suspect list is long, referring to people she is accused of defrauding among many other people. If it came out, if the police came to me and said Melissa was murdered, I'd be like it makes sense. She found herself under the microscope of authorities after it was alleged she faked financial documents, used to swindle investors out of more than $23 million under the guise of her company, Maliver. She then used that money to fund her own extravagant lifestyle. Work is now underway to recoup some of her victims' money. In February this year, two of her luxury cars sold at auction for more than $360,000. Liquidators are also closely looking at two properties, the Dover Heights home, bought in 2014 for more than $6 million, and an Edgecliff property. Criminal charges against Caddick were dropped last year to allow court-appointed receivers to carry out the task of selling her assets. But, the court was told at the time, charges would likely be pressed again if Caddick turned up alive. If you need help in a crisis, call Lifeline on 13 11 14. For further information about depression contact Beyond Blue on 1300-224-636 or talk to your GP, local health professional or someone you trust. And finally, thank you all for watching the video. Please like and comment your opinion so we can discuss together, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell to follow and update many other interesting news. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.